when we're in a group or when we see you, either one of you, it's like there's a pull to want to be recognized by you or to be close to you or talk to you. And I just want to ask you if that affects you negatively or how we can not have that pull but still love you from that place of, of loving inside of us. I can only speak for myself that you will probably always have that pull because we have that pull to you. And because of that, you're, you will feel that energy, the reciprocity of it, and want to return it, to be exchanging with it. The traveler was always producing toiji. And all people want that. They want to see the glory of God. They want to have their glory of God rise up in them. They want to be a resurrected being so that they feel the wholeness, completeness, and fulfillment of the presence of the Holy Spirit, which is that of God. And that's what I would say from JR to you. That was John. Uh, I remember that there were times uh, before I got directly involved in this work where I felt that pull to, to be close and, and, and to be physically close to John Roger, to come up to him. And I, I called myself into question about that, you know, with a simple idea, well, isn't that what everybody wants, you know, who's feeling what I'm feeling? And, and that it, it, it would be understandable that all of us would want to be close and all of us would want to get personal. Um, I remember in particular a time at Lake Arrowhead, and I think you were probably there at a retreat, and I had asked for whatever was in between John Rogers, so it was very personal. And, I, and I, that's how the prayer went out. If there was any separation, any judgments, uh, my fears, my doubts, my unworthiness, whatever was in the way, I asked that that could be lifted so that the, the trueness of the relationship could come present and I could be aware of what is this relationship and what am I to do? Am I to stand back? Am I to come forward? And I, I got this answer inside that the next time I saw John Roger physically, that, that what that was would be delivered. And, he, and at that point, he was not at the retreat. I, at least I was not aware of him, and I had not seen him. So we were doing SEs in the sanctuary, and it was lunchtime. So I was coming out of the sanctuary to the place where we keep the shoes outside the sanctuary, you know, right by the stairway that goes up to where the house is. And I was looking down to get my, my shoes, and I bumped into somebody, and I looked up, and John Rogers' face was about four inches from mine. And I, I got the answer at that point. <laughs> uh, and it, it wasn't anything inwardly, it was just I was stunned. Uh, as I got my shoes on, as I went upstairs, uh, there was a circle of people who were gathering to call in the light, and uh, I was basically outside the circle. It had already formed, but it was a very large circle, so there was uh, probably 100, 120 people there. And so I was touching people on, from behind to let me into the circle. And people were talking, and we hadn't started calling in the light yet. And uh, so it was like I touched two or three different people, and nobody was letting me into the circle. And then I heard a very loud voice say, John, there's a place for you right here. And it was John Roger on the opposite side of the circle. And everybody went silent. And all the eyes were on me. 
Uh, and you know, as I walked across the inner part of that circle, and there was, in the only place in the circle was there was a space open right next to John Roger. And as I walked across, that was you know, one of those moments when I know who I am, you know, and that, I, that I have a place uh, next to him. And you know, the practical side of it is, is there's not physically a lot of those kinds of places. But there's a line that this traveler consciousness works through. And everybody has a place in that line that's very direct and very personal, so that you have a place next to the traveler and face to face with the traveler. It's, and that's a place that we all have with God. I had forgotten a lot of what he said. And as he said it, it became real immediately again. And I don't know if I'll forget that one. 